And uh, yeah, I guess we're ready to go. Because we are once again trying our absolute best, we'll head up to the canteen and uh, buy that buff again for the research points. Still, no guarantees I'm going to win. Straight up. Yum. What a nice looking soup. But that's, that's more my speed. That great big block of ham right there. So 20 health looks about the best I can get. I can have an attack up M. Or some attack up M's. Okay. I don't really get it. I don't really get what, what some of the differences are, but... Whatever. Because these both have feline rider. Oh, this one's different. This is feline groomer and feline polisher. I got, I, I, I got no idea. We'll just, we'll just order this one. Damn. He put the feet on the end of the chicken, but then when I received it, it didn't have the uh, the little feet cozies. There's the depart now button. I knew you were there somewhere. Take all the freebies. Yep, still going. I lost. I actually lost the mission. He's got one attack where he bites forwards that just takes like 94% of my health bar. And I, I, I don't know what to do. So I went out. I uh, got a lot more of the materials required to make the the traps and the smoke bombs and the, and the whatnot else. Which is cool. And now we're trying it again. But yeah, I was I was thoroughly defeated. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to go to the upgrade shop and try and do any upgrades. Whoops. So that's that's probably the main thing I should have remembered. <laughs> Never mind. We'll just try. Gotcha. So um, I used the canteen right at the end, but I had this food on the well done steak. Yeah, I used the canteen on my last life and died. I tried to use the um, hook shot thing from the from the from the DLC this, and uh, he shook me off and ran me over immediately at the end. So if I hadn't bothered trying to use the item from the DLC, I might actually have lived. But oh well. Right, there he is. All the way over there. Am I going to be quicker going from my main camp? I can't be bothered with the loading screen. Let's just... Let's just roll out. So i got to drop down here first and foremost to loot my uh, mushroom again. It's very important to me. I want to do a lot more trapping monsters. Can I swing across this? I can. Cool. <sighs> let's let's pray for me. Let's hope I can do it this time. I don't want to be stuck on this for too long because he just he just mauled me. Hey, uh, you know I think my brain had blocked it out because I I did a second playthrough when Iceborne came out, but I totally forgot the clutch claw was from the DLC. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I was kind of happier yesterday when I didn't have this extra thing to think about. And 
n now I'm I'm less happy, but ne never mind. The area known as 12 is the most dangerous. It seems 19% of hunters have collapsed there. You can have this. Just give me one, one, one max potion. What a nice guy. But yeah, most of the time when I've tried to use this DLC claw thing, I've just been retaliated against. Even if I've done it while they're on low health or anything else, they've just thrown me off immediately. <laughs> and it wasn't worth it. So I probably should try and ignore it. So I had him pretty low. I cut the tail off, you know. I was doing... Hey, he escaped. Anyway, I was doing all right, and then he just he just killed me. Oh, he ran away from the last part, so I didn't get it. Darn it. Get back here, you. Oh, also, I completely uh, maxed my bar, and then he, like, dodged my finisher thing three times. That also made me pretty sad. Uh-oh. Oh god. I've been I've been it. Wait for a chance to escape. You're bound to get one. Whoa. Strength, a strength, the med med kit, and be safe. Once, once Dory's got him distracted. Dory, please stop following me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh God! Took more damage trying to heal. Thanks, thanks, Dory. And again. This is just, this is this is awful. He turns around. He looks at my cat. Wait till I've clicked the healing potion, and then he comes back again? Every time. Every time! Okay, cool. We got him. We got one bar. I'm surprised I'm not dead. Every time. This isn't over, Anjaneth. This isn't over. We'll get him. We'll get him.
Two bar. Two bar. Ow. Going for a ride. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, I fell off. Why did my character aim like that? That was wrong. Did I get the tail? If I got the tail, I'm happy. Haha, <laughs> I got your tail. Oh, nope, he's, he's not happy, even if I am. Ow. Uh-oh. Nope. Stop. Why? Shouldn't have risked it. Is he running? Okay, now we can go for the tail. He doesn't look like he's limping, though, so we're not going to try for the capture yet. But we are going to try for a capture. Let's uh, sharpen up. Shing! So I do have yellow bar, but it's running out. I better get back into combat real quick. Red bar, cool. Gotcha! Finally, I did the thing. Oh, I roared mid combo. Got him again with it. That was cool. Uh oh. Is this the end of Dean? I thought he was just gonna bite me and that was gonna be it. Oh, he got the heel fl Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bigger wasp. We're good. Nope. Nope. I don't wanna be there. Let's try for the, uh, right here. No, I got knocked over. Damn. I'm gonna go for two potions for safety. Another potion. I wanna live. Whoops. Hit the cat. Hit the cat. Didn't mean to. He, he walked right under the sword, I swear. I still don't think he was limping. I think he's still got a lot more fight in him. Nope. 
son of a... It. Missed him. Trying to make use of that yellow bar before it disappeared. over again. I am so dead. Seems tired. Me too. My weapon seems to be extra blunt. Turf war. Oh, damn. Am I about to lose my... Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, uh, yep, goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. From downtown. I think we're just going to shove the, the trap and the trank bombs on this guy now. He's, def he's definitely out of the picture. With a little help from my dragon... Got to make sure we hit him, though. Out of the way, everything else. Is he going to jump down with me? No, he jumped up. Oh, my God. No. No. Wait, 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 wait. How do I get back up there? Ah. Dern. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Before he heals up at all. Trank, trank, trap. Here we go. I think you can climb the vines. Oh man, I, I didn't get like a prompt, so I, I don't know. And my character's too tired to... There we, here we go. Trank bomb. Trank bomb. Trap. Smack. Wait, wait, what? happening get over here but... oh, okay I wasted like a million trank bombs there but that was a bit weird he was sort of trapped in one thing and then another thing and I don't know yeah, just like, uh, huh? So I thought the Trank Bombs would knock him out while he was in the vines, and then maybe no, and then I tried to run forward and throw one at him, but then he leaned back away from him. He was he was a smart dinosaur. He leaned backwards, covering his mouth, because he didn't want any Trank Bomb in his mouth. You know, he didn't want to get knocked out. But we, d we did it. I don't care if I waste some materials, if I, if I eventually get it right. Hey, we got an Armor Sphere Plus. They're way better than the regular Armor Spheres. All right, he took me down once, but then I took him down once, which I think makes us even. Is a plate good? Rarity five, so the so the higher number is is better. It's very sparkly on the menu, so it seems good. 
Okay, so we're getting a lot of Rarity 4 stuff as well. Maybe it starts off quite high because it's like a it's like a rare monster, regardless, or like a, a big monster. It's not like um, we kill like a little thing. But five's definitely bigger than four. This we know. I like it. I like. Hunter rank five? Yeah. I love meth. Meth is great. Rathalos. Look at that. We learned a bit more Rathalos. This Rathalos is red on this picture. The last, like, two we saw, they were more like a, a grey, kind of grey-green colour. I thought. But maybe... Maybe I'm just wrong. So that was a that was a large engine. That's the look of it. One thousand six hundred and forty-six point four six. Uh, Defender of Astera earned the right to take on four-star assignments. A new upgrade level is now available for armor. You can now upgrade your armor even further. Even further be beyond, we can go Super Saiyan three. Which is which is great. Whoa, cannons! Do I get one? Oh, Rathian is green. So, Rathalon is someone else, maybe? Gather round, people. We have much to discuss. All right. We're, we're getting into Pokemon territory where we got the old, um... This guy and that guy and... Oh. All right. Gather round, people. We have much to discuss. All our preparations are complete, oh, it's voiced. And I have all of you to thank for working double time to make it happen. I'm especially impressed with the fifth for hunting the Anjanath despite being new here. Yeah, boy, that's us. That's one less misery standing between us and capturing Zora Magdaros. Well done. When will Zora reach the Great Ravine? Precisely at daybreak. Good. Let's run through the operation one last time, then. Or for me, the first time they ran me through it. Our hunters will rendezvous on site. Once the beast appears, the operation will commence. We've built two barriers in the target's path. Oh yeah, I bet that'll stop it. Your objective is to stop it at the first barrier, initially wearing it down with cannon and ballista fire, then restrain it with binders. Okay. However, there is a chance it will break through. A hundred percent chance. So, we'll initiate the mounting phase of the operation. During this phase, we'll attempt to weaken it further, so that we'll have a better chance of restraining it at the second barrier. Mostly I remember doing a lot of mining on the thing's back, rather than the urgent stuff that the guys are yelling at you at, about. Make sure you hammer it as much as possible with cannons and ballista. They're there for a reason. Affirmative, sir. Technicians. Make sure you do a final check on the equipment before we begin. Yes, sir. Quartermasters, conduct an inventory on our supplies. Researchers, proceed to the Great Ravine with your escort as soon as you're ready. We can't bring our quarry back to base, so take what you need and be prepared to conduct your research on site. Don't worry, Commander. Everything will be in order. I'm a, I'm a bit of a loot guy. You might have noticed while I'm playing some of these games that I, I, I kind of enjoy having my stuff. Keep your ears open during the operation. I'll be giving orders as the situation unfolds. May the Sapphire Star light your way. Dismissed. Huh, someone earlier said that I descended from a star. And now they're telling me about the stars? Maybe I'm God. Finally here. I'm shaking up a storm here. How about you? Nah, I'm fine. Um, let's see. Let's visit a, a little bit of everybody. I definitely want to clear our bags. This we know. Damn, I did throw away one hell of a lot of smoke bombs. It's kind of annoying to go out and get all the bits to, to get more of them as well. See what we know about our target. Go carefully. Uh, 
Oh yeah, here we go. Monster field guide, large monsters. There they are! It, I've seen both of them in the forest, even though it still tells me that I don't know their habitats. And I've seen this one over at the wastes. So, we read this one before, but let's have a read of this. The apex monster of the ancient forest, also known as the King of the Skies. Hey, the people back at camp are calling me the guy that's this King of the Skies. A terrible wyvern that descends upon invaders, attacking with poison claws and fiery breath. I think the other one has a poison tail. It's interesting. Yeah, poison tail. This guy's got poison claws. Rathalos prefers to stay airborne to unleash their myriad of attacks, but a well-placed flash bomb or a shot from your slinger can send them crashing to the earth. Not a very well-balanced dragon. If, you know, you shoot him with a little flick and he just falls out of the sky. I wouldn't really call this guy King of the Skies. I'd kind of call him, uh, you know, Clown of the Sky. Wounding their wings gives them a moment of vulnerability whenever they try and take flight. So jab him in the wings if he tries to get up. Seems a bit mean, but fair enough. This is, this is something that I guess I've been looking at the tracks for, but I don't know what it is. Which is fine. Ah, we don't know what this guy's weak to. That means I can't choose a specific weapon. I think we just, like, run around on his back and he doesn't really care all that much. And then he just leaves. <laughs> and I, I don't think he notices us. Which is fine. So we got a new reward listed here. Look at that. The scale is a five star. And the plate is a one so maybe on this menu, one is better? <laughs> yeah, oh, plot armor. Plot armor is the strongest of all armors. And it can also be the weakest of armors, sure, actually, thinking about it. But yeah, on this rarity tail, uh, table, rather, is the Anjanath Plate rare because it's the frequency is a one star? Or is it common because the frequency is a one star? Like which way around is it here? You'd think five would be the best thing. Hmm, okay. So you really want to get them plates and them tails because they're hard to get. Fair enough. Is there any... new stuff on this guy's menu that we haven't seen? No. So the first guy with... green highlighted stuff is this one. And we don't know the loop for those. That's fine. Oh, I don't know anything about Toby. Let's, let's find out what's going on. A fanged wyvern that flies amongst the trees of the ancient forest. Its pen penchant to brush against the ground and the trees as it moves around builds up static electricity within its fur. Use the target camera to avoid getting ambushed from behind as it moves from tree to tree. The key to defeating this monster is to immobilize it and prevent it from reaching a charged state. Fair enough. Don't know how exactly we're going to do that. Got to snap that tail. And uh, also the head's a weak point as well. And it hates water. It hates poison. Okay. So what happened here with this guy? I can collect what I got so far. It's fine. But it didn't add any new things to my menu, even though I went out and picked them all up. Which is a shame. But they did say something about, oh, you can upgrade this place just by using it more? I think this one said it. Yes, yes. I'm not, not saying it again, but... 
I think they just said to use the place to level it up. We'll collect what we've got. Then we still have more duration on this fertilizer effect. Let's make sure um, herbs are still in here. And I guess leave. Let's see if these guys are up to anything new. Don't let that don't let that giant powder stone scare you now. Get out there and get me the goods. Some armor sphere. Some more. Um. Ooh. We'll do ones that have armor sphere pluses on them. So we are capturing roots. And we are often picking up mushrooms. Seems like an easy way to get a couple of couple of new things. We'll tick some of the ones that have gold rewards. <laughs> if you faint one time, this mission is lost. Harsh. But I'm in it for the gold rewards. I'm in it to win it. Time for some hard graft. Hmm, not seeing any new names yet on any of my equips. Blazing, blazing Edge is written there, but it's not highlighted. Can I not make anything new out of any of the stuff that I found? Kind of lame. Oh well, I guess I'll upgrade some of my armor while I'm here. Wow, I can go to level 7 now. Pretty intense. Uh, yeah, let's go. 